Mad on guard is... Ah! The whip! The whip! The whip, it hurts! Francisca Von Karma! She opened the door to the light! Whoa! The whip! You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Red? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off that scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The final pieces, did you ha do you have them? You should know better than to ask that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. A Von Karma is a perfect, is perfect in every way. The evidence is here in perfect condition. Yes, don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine and his injuries are minor. All of the items are inside this. Is that his coat? What a filthy old coat. That's gum shoes. I, I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for his ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap them in. <laughs> you couldn't drive them here? I fought long and hard this whole trial. All for what is inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a crucial piece of evidence. Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Your final evidence? It's already, we already know who did it. Why do we need this? This trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand down my verdict. I do not believe that any other evidence presented, or excuse me, I do not believe that any evidence presented now would change the outcome of this trial. What? Your Honor, it is all our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Ms. Von Conrad be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. I suppose you are right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant permission to do so. However, this one is obvious. This one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted by the court. And whose phone is ringing in my court? Who is, who is calling my house? I'm about to find out. Hello? And of course, they hang up on me so quick. They can't even talk to me. I should have kept my voice on like, who the hell is this? Who the fuck is calling? That's what I should have said with my in my crazy Phoenix Wright voice. Or excuse me, Shelly the Killer voice. <laughs> I should have picked up the phone. Shelly the Killer speaking. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, the police would have been over here. And I really would have went to jail. If these items did not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted by this court. Now, Ms. Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Ah, he must have been in quite a rush. Yes, your honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see, there would be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle. I'm sure of it. That is all we can hope for. Like a miracle. Well, the first item is a pistol. Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with this case? Oh, now my fat black cat wants to leave the room. Let's say a question for more details. Does that pistol have any relation to this case? I don't think it does. Might as well ask for more details and drag it out. Alright, my bad guys. I had to get that cat out of here. He was just crawling the door. Does that pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case, at least to me. Oh, she got shot! She did get shot in the arm. That's the pistol that he used to shoot you, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh! I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a part of a, a sort of a memento. I'm sure it will be an excellent sample for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Franziska. It's probably not going to help us very much. The second piece of evidence is the videotape. I bet the killer took that from Ongar's mansion. Question for more details. Just keep asking for more details. Have you checked the contents of that tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Wow, oh yeah. But I would speculate that this tape is very important. 
Why would you say that? As he came back to his hideout for it. Really? Did the killer went back for it? That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers at the site. Damn, but somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the killer is no ordinary man. Damn. The last piece of evidence is this Bell's boy, this bellboy's costume. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? Oh, that's he actually he's the one who gave I just now got this. He's the one who gave us the damn communicator. He's the one who actually called for Maya. Oh shit! <laughs> I just now got it. Oh man, I'm so salty. I'm so slow, I didn't even know that. I am almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There's one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And what is that? There is a button missing on this uniform. A button? It's a very unique button. I'm sure it, if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. Bellboy uniform. Add it to the court record. Hmm. And what is that, your honor? I'm sure we were under normal circumstances. These items were... Alright, these items from Shelley the Killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, our question is not who did the killing. It is who is the client. Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us everything about that. Gavel! Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled! This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Trust me about that. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? Is this the end? Phoenix? I knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make the miracle happen. You've come this far. You can't give up now, Phoenix. But no matter how you think about it, it's... it's... Try for my sake. Just think about it for a second, okay? There are two ways out of this situation for us. I either bust your balls and kill you, or... You go ahead and give him that not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Because my sister means everything. Oh, wait, what? 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 Two? <laughs> the first. Megan Gar wished from the bottom of his soul for a guilty verdict. How do we do that? The killer will always place his client's wishes first. If Ungar himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. That may be true, but... That's asking me to do the impossible. The second way, give him that not guilty. Force the killer to end his contract with on guard. If the killer were to no longer think of on guard as his client, then he would let Maya go. Mia, that's even more impossible. He's a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else. I know both of these seem like impossible feats at first, but if you can make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he was just shown, he's not accepting them. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what has always worked for us? The other side? Wait, does she mean... You mean to turn things around? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, then who does it? Then who does need it? Then who does need it? Then who does need it? Uh, am I saying that wrong? Let me, let me, let me, let me calm down. If that's the case, then who does need it? Then who does need it? Okay, I'm saying it. I, I, I think I get it. Then who does need it? Who needs it? The person who needs the evidence. The defense, prosecution, and the judge. We have seen all the pieces of evidence. Like, if you read something so much, it's like, it starts to lose its meaning. And that's what happened to me. I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. It has no meaning. And that is how we have come to know the truth. But there are people who have not seen them all. And those people do not know the truth. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end.
gavel! There are no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict. Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? Objection. You son of a bitch! I told you to sit back and listen. I've already told you, Mr. Wright. This court does not need any more evidence. I am not saying it is us that needs the evidence, Your Honor. Huh? Then you want to show the evidence to that person? Indeed. Yes, Your Honor. Please, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, for you to ask... For you to ask with such passion, I will grant you one chance. One chance? Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. But 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 Oh wait! You know what? I think I know who the right person is. Okay. I have to try and remember. Alright, here we go. Everything that has happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix. Think! There must be a way to save Maya while taking on guard down at the same time. Yo, you you know, you remember what Matt said, right? He's trying to, he's trying to save his own ass. He, by actually blackmailing the assassin, he took a video recording tape of the matter, right? And it shows Shelly actually killing Juan Corrida, right? So, and I don't even think Shelly knows. I don't think Shelly knows about that tape. He doesn't know what's on the tape either. But that's probably the tape, because if you remember what Matt said earlier in the damn game, or earlier, right before the trial started, like, he was going to, uh, you know... Have some backups for his, uh, I guess you could say, his testimony, not testimony, but just to, just to back himself up, to give him more leverage, basically. Who would you like to show evidence to? I think at this point, it, sh it has to be Shelly. There's no one else. I mean, it's the most logical choice. But, 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 Shelly the killer, how old is he? A professional assassin always leaves a Shelly card near his victim's body. Any money we have to show that videotape. Wait, John Doe and Shelly the killer are the same dude? Wait, duh! Then why do we have two separate profiles? Shelly the killer. I see. And now. Tell the court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. And the only thing we could really show that would make sense would be the videotape. Well, oh, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, um, I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to that witness. Gavel, bailiff, please bring in the transceiver from earlier. All right. All right, it looks like they got a hold of him. How can he see this though? <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this damn trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence. Yes, one is all I need. One mic, one beat, one rhyme, one life. All I need is one mic. I heard you I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back, yup. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. I thought so. He never looked at it, did he? I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Do you know the contents of this tape? I was sternly told by my client not to watch it. Yup! Here we go, we got it, we got it. So I have absolutely no idea. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? There was a video camera hidden at the crime scene. Your actions were being recorded. W what? Is this true, Mr. Wright? Who was it that planted a camera? Well, the only person who could have placed a camera at that scene of the crime would it be your client, naturally? <laughs> yes! So I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit! Be quiet and listen, your honor. Yes, sir! Your client sp sp 
spe specified a place and a time for you, isn't that right? Yes. That was so they could film you. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? <laughs> I would like to know why. Oh shit. Why did Matt Ongar film the crime scene? The reason why, he basically, the, the freaking push it on dude. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. He wanted to blackmail you, duh. He wanted to blackmail you. He didn't trust your skills, wanted to see Juan get his. Wanted blackmail. Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you and this is what they said. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone. At least of all. At least of all assassins. Oh, come on now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. <laughs> yes, that's where the video comes in. With that, I can keep him at bay. Even blackmail him if I want to. He'll never see it coming. <laughs> Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. What do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? <sighs> oh shit. It looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by natural. So we're gonna make him break his contract. Wow, so we did the real impossible. Your client is a person who only thinks impossible how to use the people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us one numerous times that during your testimony... Oh, I think I know what he's gonna bring up. That the, tr the trust between the client is very, very... That you detest traitors most of all. Oh shit! Yes, that's quite, that's quite right. Well, what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. Oh, we get him to break his contract, yes! That client would become my next target. <laughs> For the honor of the Dekele name, even if it takes an eternity. I would follow that person to the ends of the earth and exact my punishment. <laughs> he coming for you! Look at Edgeworth's like, oh, I see. I, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> so the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Ah, oh, I get it. This is how we'll turn this case around. Mr. Wright? Yes. My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you, your precious item. What the? I'm not an item. <laughs> Maya got extra loud. <laughs> Maya, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness. We got through it. We got through the toughest fucking case ever. This trial appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I actually, uh, I am sort of, I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness in. Ah! Miss Von Karma, where did that? <laughs> She always has you in her sights. <laughs> I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. Oh, he's sweating. <laughs> Mr. Unguard, it looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You'll finally receive the quarter you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. <laughs> Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. Uh, hey, uh, help me. Now then, your honor, the verdict if you please. Is this alright with you, Mr. Wright? We have finally reached the end of a very long battle. It doesn't matter to Mr. Wright. <laughs> Mr. Wright ain't worried about nothing no more. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about Maya. Maya is safe. I ain't worried about nothing. Whether he's convicted for acquittal, there's no escape from him now. Go on, Phoenix. Plead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. 
Oh boy, does it matter? It doesn't matter at this point, does it? <laughs> Let's say fleet not guilty. Congratulations, Mr. Madam Guard. <laughs> Please make sure to savor every moment of what little time you have left. <laughs> Your Honor, as always, the defense pleads not guilty. Very well, this court finds the defendant met on guard. Not. Oh, <laughs> uh, please, wait. <laughs> What's the matter? If if I get not guilty, I'll I'll be I'll be killed. I'm I'm. No! <laughs> guilty, guilty! Oh shit! He's crashed up his face. Oh my god, he fucked his own face up. Yo, did you see that? As always, it looks like we have uncovered the real truth. We? I don't remember you helping out much in this. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? I have left Ms. Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whipped leather right now. <laughs> Very good. That was a close one, wasn't it, Witness? Yes. I plan to pay my debt to society for my own crime, Your Honor. This trial was the first time I had stood on the witness stand, and when I did, I really felt hopeless. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. I guess she's trying to forgive him for what he did. This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. Damn, Edgeworth went in. He went ham. He didn't care. He did not care. When I was alone at the detention center, that's the first time I really saw myself and who I am. And today, when the two of you use your combined strength to convict Matt, I, I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. I'm really happy that you two were in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. This is... This is the first time I ever felt comfortable with myself, with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Congratulations. 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 Oh, 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 oh! Congratulations. <laughs> it looks like we have solved everything at last. As for myself, there are still a few things I'm confused about. But everyone seems to be in good spirits, so I guess that's all that matters. That is all, the court is adjourned! Gamble! See you for trials and tribulations! March 23rd, 5.14 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. You were great out there, Phoenix! What I did out there was right. Right? This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. You got them a gu guilty verdict this time, but you have to look past all of that. So what's really important you now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yes, I understand now. Phoenix, think back for a second. Think to the moment before Miss Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Listen to your heart. You gotta listen to your heart. My client, Madam Guard, is... Is he guilty or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then. And your answer? Your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. Right! Edgeworth! I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Really? Damn, Pearls came back out of nowhere again. Telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, yeah, she's quite safe. She is on her way here as we speak in a patrol call. Yay, Mr. Maya is safe. Come on, let's go buy some good burgers because you know she's hungry. She's going to want a burger. You know she's going to want a burger after all this. Ow, she punches deceptively hard for a kid. I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. What? Um, thanks. Oh, what's wrong? Miss Von Karma. Oh, shit. 
Um, about earlier, uh, thanks. Ow! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You lost! Your perfect win record has now been crushed! And yet, you are still happy? I don't think you'll ever understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you! Don't worry. She may in time. After all, I was like that myself until a year ago. Edgeworth? For my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. Bam! 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 I used every dirty trick in the book, and so my win record remained spotless. But, a man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. You got bodied, and then... And then, in that case, it was my turn to sit on the defendant's chair. And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened, so I had left the prosecutor's office. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death, even though there was another case after the fourth case. <laughs> as well as you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. Calm down, Von Karma, damn. But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. It was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so, no matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And then before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. What? You trusted in your enemy? What the hell are you saying? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. The truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch. But we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This I promise you. The truth? Yes, that's the reason why prosecutors and defense and lawyers exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me, this this man who went into hiding, isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory, who ran away into the night. Is Mr. Edgeworth right, Mr. Nick? You really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago. And you betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool! Miss Von Karma! I don't want to hear that wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A Von Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being a Von Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over. Franziska threw something on the ground just now. She threw her pants on the ground. Whoa. Wait, this is an electromagnetic receiver that also somehow drags panties to the floor. Isn't that the thing she used to track Detective Gumshoe? Oh my god. Did Gumshoe and Von Karma have a thing? What am I saying? There's something else. Her whip! Isn't that... <laughs> what the hell did I just say? Isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. You should keep this right. Um, okay. Nick! Oh, it's Maya! We did it, we did it, holy double D's, we did it, oh, 
We did it all. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. We did it. We wrecked you, Maya. We did it. We the best, man. We the best. I knew you would come through. You got and got or you got on guard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. Come on. But we sure pressed our luck this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost through pearly. Is it really that easy to do something like that? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Nick. Don't mention it. Maya! Oh, Mr. Edgeworth! Um, I'm relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's hungry. Alright! I think it's time we go out and got this depressing, or get out of this depressing place. Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick! Food! Grub, chow, I'm starved! I'm so hungry, even you look like a nice juicy burger on a bun to me, Nick. <laughs> you think I look like a burger? I'm a prime rib, at least. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. Um, if you insist. All right. How about we hit up our usual good burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of my gourmet food. So I decided that we have to make it up by having another feast. Another feast? Come on, Nick. Food! Okay, no juicy burgers, I guess. March 23rd, 7.38 a.m. Gatewater Hotel, Hotel Lobby. Hey, pal, sorry to keep you waiting, guys. Gumshoe, are you all right? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole. <laughs> a telephone pole? Then it wasn't a red light that got him? You did it again, city boy. I felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. Oh yeah, she said she was gonna stop by and uh, look at the case. Yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of The Steel Samurai. Thanks. Now looky here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor, don't you reckon you bully Mr. Right too hard? If it don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it tonight even. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come on now, everyone gather around. Y'all gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lada bought herself a new camera. Well, pal, at least we can make this messy, ca or messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about you, so let's chow down. Amen to that, pal, amen. About to throw down on this prime rib. You know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, detective. Huh, me? You really think so? Yeah, the evidence, he's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have been a very different ending. Would have had a very different ending. Uh, you know, it's a ho 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 ho. Huh? Wait, that's odd. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things total. Whoa! Whoa! Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Aw, oh, come on, y'all, it's over. But whoo, boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with you, huh? Now I'm interested in knowing what this fourth item was. Why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days. Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? I wanna see I wanna see Mystic Molly's picture. Um, you know, I don't know where it went. Hmm, that's too bad. Was that the fourth item? Well, it, it's alright. It wasn't anything important anyway. Ah! It sure was nice to finally see them both smiling again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we know what that means. What is it, Miss? Or excuse me, what is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking up something. Ah, that's that's Miss Von Karma's receiver. 
Huh? Thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracker device on me. <laughs> That's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh, it's probably busted or something, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten way too much, you glutton. <laughs> I have fun tonight. Now, if you excuse me. Bam, 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 holy double D's. We did it. Dun, 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 I love this music. Maya's theme is epic. I just wanted to say thanks. You really saved me out there. <laughs> if anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. I wonder if there's anything I could give them to express how I feel. Bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> Bum 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 bum. All right. All right. The whip. Thrown away by Francisca von Carmen has a certain mysterious nostalgia to it. Here you go. Have this whip. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. Alright, so all we needed to do right now, all we need to do is present the whip. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mr. Maya. Yes, Burley? I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean. P Pearly! Would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me! What are you, like seven years old? Why do you care about so much about lovey-dovey stuff? Um, anyway, so who's paying for this lovely din dinner party? As if you need to ask. Everyone says thank you to Nick. What? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? I ain't even rich! Yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel, see? And I just bought myself this good old beauty here. <laughs> It'd be better if I... Ooh, 3,000! Huh? Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. What? Huh? Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, oh, you don't need to hold back now you're here. Yeah, pal. Time to let it all out. This is going to be the first time I hear the real you. Go on. It's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being the hostage, y'all. And all. All right then. If you say so. So we gotta say objection. Objection! Objection! Fuck that! <laughs> oh, now it works. <laughs> I ain't paying for this. I'm tired of this shit. People always making me pay for their food and shit. You really came through for me, Nick. I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like a pro. I don't know about all that. You just extremely lucky. Her luck stat is like 255. Her luck is maxed out. She's landing all kinds of critical hits. Escaping all kinds of death traps. I'm so happy that you could save Mr. Maya. I'm so happy for the two of you. <laughs> Speaking of, I think this hotel is a popular place for honeymooners. Whoa! So sort of, I made reservations for the two of you just in case. Well, who's... How did you pay for it? <laughs> how did you make a reservation? Whose credit card did you use? And why are you trying to get me to smash Maya? You are a seven-year-old girl. <laughs> well, pal, it looks like I'm back on the force again. Mr. Edgeworth had a long talk with the chief, and he got me reinstated for my sake. I heard he said things like, letting that one go is bad for all of society. I knew it. Crashing headlong into everything is the only way to live, pal. Alright, so the case four was definitely probably, probably the, the most interesting case so far in the entire series. In between the two games. Oh, look, it's Maggie Bird, Larry Bird's daughter. She's retiring the uniform. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. 
and bring smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant, sir. I hope you'll stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Maggie Bird. Damn. So much is happening in this damn freaking case. Like, this case was ridiculously at a twist. You actually had to freaking... You actually had to defend a guilty guy for once, which was pretty cool. Now what they need to do is switch it up. Instead of just murder cases, how about some theft cases? Kidnapping cases, instead of just dealing with murder all the time. Like, I would love to see some theft cases in the next game or something. At least in the future games. Not just these, oh, everybody is dying. Everybody, nothing but murder cases. Can we get some theft? Can we get something else? Can we get, can we get, uh... Sagging pants? Like, were you sagging your pants? No, <laughs> that's a dumb crime. You know how that would be the unhypest damn case ever. What do you think Zimbabwe is like? What? Do you think there are castles made of cake and bunnies who can talk? I think if there are any talking bunnies, even they won't laugh at Mo's jokes. Damn, shots fired. I guess that's where they were going next to set up for uh, the circus. I'm ready, I'm ready. There's no way these jokes are gonna fall to deaf ears. Wow. We got our new act all worked out. Prepare for the Hallelujah Chorus. Chorus. Say something, will you? You're supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm such a loser. I'm such a loser. Alright, I just finished off my little bottle of Sobe. What's this threat? It's just an ordinary electronic razor recharging on the stand. I can believe this. Really? How long do they plan on making me do this? Haha! <laughs> She's still doing it! Yeah, a deep meaning to keep her busy and not bothering anybody. Everyone thought the world of me. They used to call me Queen Wendy and treat me like royalty and then Oh no, she went on another freaking tangent. Rat a tat 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 tat. <laughs> Special thanks, Kasumi Moranaga. Hiro Yuki Kudo. Kado. Special thanks, Kimiko Sukane. Yukari Suwabe. Oh, Andrews is smiling in jail. I appreciate everything you and Mr. Edward did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Ms. Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. I'm really thankful to have met everyone. Wow, really? Miss Mon Karma said all that. Maybe she did feel sorry about what she did, because she really did fuck up. <laughs> she, hit, she had a lot of fuck up moments, alright? It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. <laughs> as such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. We, may we both be blessed with longevity. Wow! <laughs> It finally broke. Damn, he left the country. At least he got away, right? <laughs> Shelly the killer. <laughs> Dude was smooth as hell. <laughs> March 23rd, 9.42 p.m. International Departures, Gate 12. Where are you going, Franziska? How did you know where I was here? How did you know I was here? What's this? That's... I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> this filthy drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash, I promise you that. Really, she's probably keeping it as a souvenir. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. Four items. It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! 
You don't understand a thing. I'm a woman. You can't possibly understand women. Do you even know what it means to be a woman? Franziska. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill because I'm a woman. I expected to win no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for a woman. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But, but me? I'm no genius. I'm a woman. <laughs> like, damn. I don't even know how to respond to this. <laughs> Edward knows what. <laughs> he knows how to handle it. Just don't say nothing. <laughs> but I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Ray gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always let me left me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. Whoa! Damn, that's how you really feel, girl? <laughs> and then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down and defeat, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. No, hell no, she was nowhere near on the level of Edgeworth. I'm telling you that right now. Her her power level was well below 9,000. Let's just say that. <laughs> I see. You know I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw every away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you, you were dependent on your father by using his tactics. Isn't that right? Huh. <laughs> Codependent, huh? Today you chased after me, after I had left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But, I have no intentions of stopping. If you say you are going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Franziska Von Karma. <laughs> Don't start crying! I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm Francisca Von Karma. I don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you better uh, prepare yourself, Miles Edward. We, I'm a woman. And that day, every single female subscriber of Sir Lionheart's unsubscribed. One day, someday, I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> this last piece of evidence that never made it to you, I'll take good care of this fourth piece. What is it? That draw? I bet you it was the art that she drew, so I can give it to you when at last we meet again. Nick, I thought so. Nick the Dick! Nick the Dick! We love Nick the Dick! Nick the Dick! Yeah! Alright guys, so that's the end of Justice for All, Phoenix Wright. And the next game in the series is Trials and Tribulations. And I will be taking all Trials and Tribulations later this year after I get myself a break of visual novels. Because visual novels take a lot, a lot, a lot out of me. Like... I honestly have to motivate myself extra hard to play these type of games because it's not highly action-packed like I'm used to and loving. Like, I, I would prefer, if I had to choose between a game, I would probably play an action RPG rather than a visual novel. While visual novels are nice and everything, but rec recording them, doing these voices, <laughs> reading it out loud for, like, hours on end, it's just, it, that takes a lot more effort than I think playing like an action game, in my opinion, it does for me. It just, I have to motivate myself extra hard to just want to sit down and read for hours. 
It's like kind of reading a book. <laughs> I hate reading books, but at least... At least I get visuals with, you know, visual novels. Because they're visual novels, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. I'm not saying I hate visual novels. It's just... I just need a break right now. After Don Gon Rumpa and Ace Attorney, I just need a short... I just need to separate myself from visual novels for a little bit. Get myself a recharge on it. Because I think I, I think I started up this playthrough way too recent. Like, I started this, like, a week after I finished... A week or two after I finished uh, the first game. And then it took me two months to finish it because I, I just didn't have the motivation to go do a visual novel. Like, I was already playing Don Gon Romper during the time I had started up this playthrough. Or I was playing it and then Don Gon Romper come out, which I didn't plan on doing. Uh, the game was actually donated and then I started playing that. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to go back to I don't want to go back to Phoenix Wright right now because this game is very interesting. And people wanted to see that more than Phoenix Wright. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and finish Dong on Rope. And I just kind of forgot about Phoenix Wright for a little bit. But we finally finished this game just in time, to be honest. I think it was a perfect time to actually beat this game during Memorial Day weekend. It's Friday for me, but you'll probably see this footage Memorial Day or on Sunday. But I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Trials and Tribulations will be coming, but just not anytime soon. I hope you guys do enjoy the next plan to playthroughs. I plan on doing, which are Tales of Vesperia. I think you guys will like that, because it's going to be like a Redux style playthrough, just like what I did with Persona 4 Golden Redux, but a lot more organized and a lot cleaner, too. You'll you'll just have to see what I'm talking about, but I will be starting that after I start up Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. A lot of you have been waiting for that one. But anyway, I'm going to call it a day. I'll see you guys next time. For Nocturne and Tales of Vesperia. Peace out.